Sean. This face has the perfect combination of the two. This kind of almond-shaped eye and this gorgeous kind of skin. I'm going to start by first of all, I'm just looking at her mouth right now, I'm thinking it's so dry. So I'm just first of all going to put some lip balm on. My favourite lip balm. It's great and just, I just had this with me all the time. Um, just, it really helps heal the dry skin. Okay, that was, that was just for me. That's a very important bit. Moving on, I'm going to start with the skincare. So I'm going to use, this is new, it's called Hydra Beauty Lotion and it's a basically a priming gel and it is really amazing. It's the gel, as you can see, slippery stuff. Um, and I'm going to literally, see there's no colour, no nothing gel and I'm going to blend this into the skin, rub it in, massage it into the skin so the skin gets really nourished. Next I'm going to use the eye gel. So this is specifically for the eye area. The, uh, the skin around your eyes is much more fragile than the skin on the rest of your face. It's a fact. And so if you start, start wearing a very light gel like this at this young age, it really will help prevent those little wrinkles. I don't drag the skin this way. I pat it under the eyes this way, make sure it's absorbed. So that's that done. Now I'm going to use UV essential sun protection. I can't say it enough how important it is to start using sun protection at even a very, very young age so you don't have the dryness, the blotchiness, the red patches, the, all the things that happen when you haven't used this product from a young age. So here we go. So I'm just going to put a tiny bit of my hand here. Now you'll see I'm going to put quite a lot on. So this is a great primer, stroke base, stroke sun protection. It covers, it ticks so many boxes and it's soaked right in. No grayness, no blueness. No scary sun sunblock feeling that you get when sometimes in the olden days. This is wonderful. Look. So the next product I'm using is foundation. Um, this is Le Beige. It's a wonderful new product by Chanel. It's very sheer. I'm just going to put a bit on the back of my hand and just massage it gently into her skin. This skin is so perfect, so we don't really need much. It's just to even out the skin tone. Of course, you can use a sponge or you can use a brush, but my, my way is using my fingers. By the end, Sean will not look made up at all. She'll just look more evened. So if you have beautiful skin like this, just keep it minimal. Then take a little bit down the neck because just for the, that whole thing about evening the skin, so just to make sure everything is, is even and gorgeous. I, like to, I always like to go much paler than one would think possible, if you like, because I love that luminosity it gives you across your face when there is that sort of wonderful band. So I'm going to show you my favourite way of putting on concealer. Bang. Bang. Now, that's quite a lot, I know, but don't worry, I can either tap it off on the end of the back of my hand or I'm just going to tap it through into the skin. Right, now I'm going to tap it on. Remove the excess on the back of my hand, why not? And as you can see, it's almost disappeared. Look at that. So you can see it's kind of, li I've lifted this whole area. The consistencies of all these products being laid on top of each other, I love layering, make it really easy to work the products into the skin, okay? So as you can see, that's been blended beautifully now, but so quickly as well. So I'm taking it down a little bit through here. Just down through here, so it's all lovely and smooth through here. I'm going to do an almond eye. Now, I always start when I'm doing the eyeshadow. I always start, this is, I just find it the easiest way and it's sort of the way, my way to sort of understand the eye. I always start by putting something under the eye here. So I'm using this palette, which is amazing and beautiful. And here's my little shimmer color and here's the color. So the color I'm using underneath this eye is, by the way, this is called um, Tissé Dimensions. So I'm going to use this just to lift that brow bone. It's the best way for me to start to understand the shape of the eye that I'm working with. It's an indication. It already opens up the eye, already changes, it already defines the brow and defines the brow bone. It's amazing how one thing can create a makeup look. Okay, now I'm going to use the pink 
because I wanted to make, create an almond shape, I'm going to use most of the colour on the outside, just like an almond. An almond is shaped round and then goes out to a point, and all the, the sort of you feel that the sort of pressure impression is on the outside of the eye. So that's what I'm going to do here. This is just going to give a light reflection of colour, just a little bit of colour on the inside of the eye, on the inside here. I'm now going to take a pencil, this one. And I'm going to use this all the way through the roots of the lashes on top. I'm not using it as a liner, I'm using it as definition. So to create the almond shape, you have to extend the eye this way. In fact, I actually got rid of some height that was developing there. I actually got rid of it, so it becomes straighter and more defined like that. So going back to this palette now, I'm just going to move on to this colour and this is really an amazing warm metal colour. I'm going to use this in the middle of your eye just here. I'm not going to take it too far into the corner, just in the middle here. I'm not going to take it too far out either. Do you see how we're sort of, because I'm not going to the socket and I'm keeping it everything quite low, we're creating the almond eye. It's, it's all happening down here, down in the roots of the lashes and not too far up. And then I'm going to start extending this colour out here, this way. So I'm extending it here. I'm not going to the socket, I'm just extending it here for the almond shape. Using the brush just to extend, you can see. Now, same brush. I'm just going to start going underneath, same colour. I'm not, I'm not taking it right in the corner yet. I don't, I'm going to decide if I do that in a minute. So I just want to take it underneath. And having got this colour in the waterline, of the eye, which is through here in the waterline, it's given this kind of amazing effect of the pencil inside the eye. So I've always given her like a gold, yes, I've given her a gold line inside. So, same palette. I'm now going to use this colour, which is the deep aubergine colour, um, on the outside corner. I'm always trying to extend the eye. That is my whole goal, to get a really beautiful almond shape. Extend, extend, extend. Now, this is very easy to do when you have eyes that actually are kind of straight. If you had big round eyes, this would be very difficult to do. But with her eyes, it's a perfect shape to be able to get that sweep of extension. You can see, all I literally have to do is just put the brush down in the roots of her lashes and sweep out. That's all I have to do to achieve this. Now, I'm not going to take it all the way across because it'll make the eye too round. So I'm just going to fill in the outside corner to extend it again. And then sweeping it up, up, up. So you can see these amazing colours that are happening here. This kind of, now, if we just look straight ahead, it just looks up a little bit. Now you can see like the gold, the greeny, gorgeous pewter colour, and then the sort of gorgeous aubergine coming in. So you're getting this rainbow effect of the eye. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add more of a peacock effect because I'm loving this development of colour. So, can you hold that for me, darling? These are one of the cream eyeshadows by Chanel. This is called um, Griffith Green, and it's very peacock and beautiful. I just want to do this just for more effect. Um, just, just like there. I'm using my finger. Just like, just stroke it on very gently. See how that different green from the pewter green has made it even more interesting. It's added another colour and a deeper colour. To keep on this theme of the almond shape, I want to now extend the outside of the eye. So I'm going to use black pencil in the corner just here. So you can really see this little almond eye taking shape now. So here we have the volume mascara. And I'm just going to brush this through, getting the roots of the lashes using a volume mascara. Right, so again, all it's pulled out from the, all coming out this way, look up. I'm just going to do the outside lashes on the bottom. Now, I am actually feeling that the eyes aren't quite strong enough for you to be really wowed by this amazing almond shape. So I'm going to make them stronger. Okay, so taking not the black pencil, but the, the aubergine one, I'm just taking more of the pencil in the roots of the lashes, taking it up, 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 sweep, sweep. This is my favorite thing about this look is a sweep here, sweep. 
You can see how now we're really getting the sort of almond shape coming in even more, that elongated eye. Close. Great. It's not about the sharpness of any lines, it's about the softness of the lines. On top of that, I'm going to take the dark in the, in the palette here. And just sweep that out on top. This is, a, this is such a great look. If you go out and walk down the streets in Japan or something, you often see these girls with these amazing extended eyes and it's so beautiful. And that really brings out the shape more, as you can see. More mascara on the outside corners, particularly. So right in the outside corner, look, right in there. Really pushing it into the lashes. So every lash is covered. What I would say that we need to do with the brows is actually just extend them just a little bit down here and down here so that with this extended eye, the brow will also be extended in kind of quite a straight way, okay? So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna extend the brow through here and through here. So taking the brow pencil, I'm just gonna fill in the brow here because I want the brow to look a little bit more com complete. That would be the right word to use, complete. I don't wanna see quite so much skin underneath the brow. And then look, just extending it just a fraction. There you go. That's all we're doing, just following the natural brow line and extending it. Okay, then I'm just gonna brush it through. And then you can see the balance between the shadow and the brow. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same this side. This brow is slightly thicker, so I'm not gonna fill it in quite so much. Someone, there was a great comment that someone made, brows are sisters, not twins. There you go. So don't ever worry about it. If you can't match them, don't ever worry about that. This is an amazing product. So this is a highlight plus blush, and it's new for the summer. It's called Duo Number no. Two. That's all, Duo Number no. Two, and it's really beautiful. So I'm going to take this Chanel brush that comes with it, which you'd be surprised how amazing it works with it. So I'm just going to take it into the top shimmer color only, yes? So I've got the shimmer color on the brush, and I'm going to sweep that on the cheekbone. And you can see that beautiful shimmer come right up. So now I'm going to use the pink just to add a tiny bit of flush to the cheek. With the other, actually, do you know what? With the other side of the brush, this side, I'm just going to literally just quickly, just gently, gently, very gently, just brush that on the cheek, just on the cheek there. I'm now going to take the big fat brush and I'm going to sort of give a bit more structure to the face. So I'm going to take this, which is number four in the um, Le Beige and use this great big gorgeous brush to sort of define the face. This will add that warmth back that I took out with the foundation maybe. Then I'm going to take the number one in Le Beige and put this around, just around the nose, just to knock back the shine on the nose. If you wanted to, you could take this one, the, the highlight, and put that down the very center of the nose. So this is a coral lip liner. It's softer and prettier than a red, but still has that red element. And as you can see, I'm using the lip liner just a little bit to fill in. So I've chosen this kind of corally gorgeous lipstick. I want her to end up looking really summery and really colorful. So now I can extend the mouth using the lip liner. Just going now, taking the lip color, taking it up onto the lip line I've created. We could stop there very easily, but I'm gonna go one step further because gloss is back. Um, and Chanel do amazing lip glosses. So I just want to put gloss on top of this. I'm going to use a bright red gloss. Okay, done. So here we have basically the finished face of um, beautiful Sean with an extended eye, bright lip, sort of summer and gorgeous.